What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Like I said in my last video, I'm going to do an official apartment tour for you guys. But before I get started, I wanna thank Hopper for sponsoring this video. Hopper is literally one of the best travel apps I've ever used. And you know, a girl loves to travel. Like if you watch my vlogs, I'm literally always either working or traveling. I love to travel. So basically Hopper is a free app where you get the best travel deals over anywhere else. Cars, hotels, flights. They tell you price predictions based on data-driven insights so it tells you exactly when to buy or when to wait before you purchase your trip I remember back in like 2018 I went to Miami and this app was like coming in clutch because I definitely want to go during an expensive weekend but I didn't know when to book and especially the hotels too but I remember saving a couple hundred dollars I'm thinking of heading to the west coast sometime early next year it's already October, so I need to start like thinking and booking a trip before prices get crazy next year. What I love about this app is that it literally has a color-coded calendar giving you the best travel dates. Green being like the best, the cheapest, and then red being the most expensive. I also love the fact that you don't have to like book right away. I think a lot of people, you know, they get anxious when they see a good deal and they just feel like they have to book in the moment, but with Hopper, you can use their feature. It's called Watch a Trip, and it literally notifies you went to buy it or if it's the best deal once hopper finds the best deal for you you can use their price lock feature where it freezes the deal the price of the deal for an extended period of time but you can book it whenever it's convenient for you it's also dope because if the prices do fluctuate which sometimes they do it still gives you the price where you froze it for or if it goes lower you can get the lower deal these features are like pretty useful for someone like me because I do like even though I love traveling and I'm like okay and spending money I still want the best deals and the trips with the best deals are always the best trips I'm also always planning ahead because I need something to like look forward to now that I work in tech I'm understanding like wow the UI is nice so it's like very user friendly it's like my go-to before I plan the logistics of like any trip Luckily for you guys, Hopper has a rewards program called Carrot Cash and if you click the link in my description box, you can get $10 off for your first hotel deal through Hopper. And if you haven't downloaded it yet, like go download it right now because Hopper has saved me hundreds of dollars. Get on that. So I'm in the lobby of my apartment and I'm starting this tour here because I need to be real with you guys. I live on the top floor of this building and there are no elevators. I just want to show you guys what I freaking do every day to get to my freaking house. It's been a week here now and I'm still not used to these stairs. To the right of my entrance door is my kitchen. One thing I love about this apartment is that it has a lot of windows. So I get like a lot of good natural light in. So these are my kitchen views. I love that the natural light pours in here and also it pours in over here. This is my dining table. It's just me right now and it's good enough space. Next to my dining table you see this like red bag. That's where I put all my like plastic, plastic containers that I need to like recycle. These bottles here, I drink my water from these bottles. And fortunately, in Germany, you or in Berlin, at least I think, you can um, you can deposit these bottles back at the supermarket and get like 25 cents back. Not bad. I think in the states you get like five cents back. So if you like collect bottles, you just 
and get a couple dollars off on your next grocery. Fun story about this vacuum cleaner. I was so mad at my landlord. He didn't even leave me with the vacuum. So I went to my downstairs neighbors and I asked them if I can borrow a nice vacuum. And uh, they were so generous and they're like, oh yeah, you could just keep this one. I have a Dyson at home, but let me tell you that vacuum cleaner, even though the model is old, it works so well. Germans just, they're engineering it. And over there, that's all my cleaning supplies, my water stash. I don't know if I told you this, but I basically moved into a furnished apartment. This thing is just telling me where to throw out the garbage outside. This is a very interesting corner here. That's a microwave. Got a whole like CD radio player that I never touch. This is where I keep my avocados. This is where I keep my shopping bags. This is what I use when I go sh grocery shopping. And if I really want to go ham with the grocery shopping, I bring both. I keep my rice bags here, jasmine rice. Like I eat Korean rice, but I haven't been able to find Korean rice here. I bought skewer sticks. This is where I keep my saran wrap, aluminum foil. This is my Korean stash, my protein powder. Over on the countertop, you see I have a toaster. Some, some stuff I bought from the grocery store. I got the key, bought from home. My favorite coffee, Suda. My spices are just like kept here. Um, that's like my drying rack situation. So my stove only has two spots for pans. And then here we have the garage. Oh, they're actually dishwashing pods. I didn't see this until now, but he left me with dishwasher soap. Extra plastic bags for the garbage. This is my handy dandy dishwasher. I honestly don't have a dishwasher back at home. So this is like pretty clutch because I hate doing the dishes sometimes. It like ruins my fingers. That's what it looks like. Very simple, cute. Back at home, we got those massive fridges that are like bigger than us. The fridges here are so small. That's why everyone goes grocery shopping like every other day. Look how small it is. This is my fridge. I already went grocery shopping three times and I've only been here for a week. Honestly, it's a sad fridge right now, but it's because I literally just ate this morning. And then my freezer. I think I showed you guys this. make coffee with that. Just recently learned. I open this. I need to go on a chair for this. Okay, hold on. There's nothing up there. I don't know what this is, but I've used it for like coffee. Just a random bowl. Here we have, oh, oh, I could, wait, can I hang this here? Oh, I can. I don't know what this is. Where I keep all the utensils. It's a little messy, but don't mind it. Here we have my plates and my cups. More cups. And here's my bathroom. Let me turn on the lights. It spazzes a little bit before it actually turns on. This is not the only skincare I have, but like the ones I use every day. You know, honestly, one really good thing about this apartment is that the water pressure is amazing. Because the building is old, and you would think that the water pressure would suck, but nope, it's decent. So that's like my Invisalign case, like where I like soak my Invisalign trays, soap. All the basics are there. This is me sitting on my toilet. And this is like the only storage space I have. This apartment does not have a toilet paper roll holder. So that's pretty whack. So the bottom shelf here, that's where I keep my blow dryer, hair straightener, hair curler. It's just like my travel bag. And then my, those are my tampons, more pads, my hair conditioner. All the products that I haven't used or opened yet go in there. I don't really wear makeup, but this is like my makeup bag. What's in there? More travel size stuff. 
But this is basically like all my skincare stuff. If you suffer from grinding your teeth at night. My cotton sheets, my perfume, my Dior Addict, and my hairbrush. So that's my living room. As you can see, do not fret. There is a covering. I'm just, I just don't have it on because no one's visiting. Super simple. I got my like shampoo and conditioner over there. I got my public goods soap over there. Now let me take you guys to the living room. To your left, you see three bottles that are finished because I'm gonna bring that to the grocery store. My suitcase is in there. I got some hangers for my jackets. I also forgot to show you guys, my shoes are over there. So that's my bed. Hangs off my bed frame. Still a little bigger than the bed frame. So much. That's where I charge my phone. Got a lamp. You can control the level of brightness, which is pretty dope. What's that silver thing over there? It holds the door open. Okay, let me tell you about this interesting situation here. Okay. This is where I keep my umbrella. Just decoration. My yoga mat that just came in a couple days ago. Getting this baby through Amazon, it was difficult. I had to go pick it up somewhere else because no one wants to deliver stuff to my door because it's so it's so uh, tiring to get here. My dumbbells. I need to start working out again. My other bag that I like. These stairs are essentially like closet spaces. You open this one. My masks. Stuff I need. Tylenol. More Tylenol. Got nothing there either. This is where I keep my workout clothes, warm workout clothes, my workout gears. My running shoes, and eh, nothing in there. These stairs are dangerous. And you'll never see me going up here unless I really, really have to. This is what the upstairs looks like. I got a TV. If I have friends visiting, you guys can sleep on the bed with me. Ow. This is kind of like where I work. It's, the lighting is nice, so it's pretty ideal to have a desk right by the window. This is where I like throw my keys, my phone, a bag, the IKEA bag over there. That is where I dump all my laundry. That's another thing about this apartment. I'm like, and eh, about there are no laundry machines or drying machines inside the inside the place, so I gotta go to a, a laundromat. It's so grim. Ugh, I need to go shopping. I also like didn't bring much clothes. I'll be going shopping tomorrow. Anyways, this is my closet space. This is where I keep my sunglasses. I need to keep this hat in a better place. This is the covering for the bathroom glass wall. But I, it's annoying, so I just Show that here. It's not the cleanest, but spare me. I'm trying to live really minimally. And my underwear's still in a nice, cute Ziploc bag where I put my earrings, socks. So I'm the second shelf here. Keep my scarf, my beanies, some tank tops, t shirts, long sleeves. That's pretty much it for the closet space. All right, I'm not gonna open the window completely because yesterday we had a bee fly in, but that's my balcony. That tired me out. Okay, that's it. I think I showed you guys every part of this apartment. I really wanted to do this video because I think pictures, especially on Instagram, it can be very deceiving and I wanted to still show you all the reality of my life here and it's not perfect. This apartment isn't perfect, clearly. Although I do have to say I'm still very grateful that I have a ceiling to floor window 
situation. I probably won't get this for a while. Like, I don't even know if I'm ever gonna live in a loft like this. Just wanted to kind of just show you the real side. It's not that perfect all the time. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this Berlin apartment tour. Again, I wanna thank Hopper for sponsoring today's video. If you haven't yet, don't forget to click the link in my description box. You can get $10 off on your first hotel deal through Hopper. Things are opening up now, so I think people will be traveling more, so you do want the app to get the best deals. Anyways, I'll see you all in my next video, and I hope everyone is safe, chilling. See you again soon. Bye-bye.